Now, one thing I'm a bit curious about, uh, and I kind of want your guys' opinion about, is um, do you guys miss the music? Because uh, if you don't know, uh, I've had a little bit of an issue with, uh, with my music lately. Um, Twitch has never really been the place that really supports music all that much. Um, or actually, that's been good with music all that much. Twitch has always been weird with music. Everyone here on Twitch has mostly been ignoring DMCA or copyright because basically what happened is, you know, Twitch didn't really enforce uh, people using the radio to play under their streams. And because of that, what you had is that at some point in time, uh, the like, music companies just kind of went after Twitch big time because they were very mad and angry about Twitch because like, what the hell are you guys doing? How dare you go ahead and use all of our songs on streams that are being watched by thousands of people? So um, that was a time that all the clips had to be purged, channels could be banned, and then for years it was quiet and people just went back to their ways of playing the radio. But now, uh, about two weeks ago, they came back and they um, and said, listen, uh, we made a DJ category for people who want to play radio songs, but you're going to have to share your revenue with the people who make the songs. And then for everyone else, uh, we're going to give you free strikes, kind of like YouTube, and if you get these strikes, then you're out. So I already got a couple of muted streams from video, for, for, from streams for music. And I was like, well, that's really weird because I have always made sure that I had the proper licenses to the songs that I use. But what seems to have been the case is that not all the copyright is the same copyright. Something that people can do with Creative Commons is that they can like pretty much, I guess, legally use it to, uh, to make their mixtapes. And then when they make their mixtapes, uh, what they do then is they go ahead and they upload that to the copyright system. And then the copyright system copyrights the Creative Commons licenses, like the, the music that I'm free to use just like they are and everyone else is. They upload that to the copyright system and the copyright system claims it because it detects it. And then they, they get the money or it automatically mutes it. Now, it's not necessarily a strike because they just mute the fault, but I like to keep my faults. I like to archive everything that's being happening on the channel and everything. So it's kind of annoying. And I don't know how long Twitch is going to accept it as like, oh, you know, that's just that's just all right right now. You know, it's fine. We just mute it. And maybe someday they'll come around and actually like throw the bad hammer down, which they might as well. If they see it as an infringement, they might as well. Right. Uh, the problem with that, though, is that I could fight it because I do have the license of it. But I don't want to do that for every single stream. And I would have to provide all my details. It's just such a hassle. So I decided, fuck it. I'm not going to do it. I'm probably just going to add in like a... Uh, uh, epidemic music li sound license just make sure it's licensed by a company so that no one's going to steal that and they'll handle the back end uh, but i haven't really gotten around to it because as you may have noticed with the, the lack of uh, like highly polished videos i've been a bit busy so right now we've had some uh, youtube audio library music where youtube is in uh, is in charge of handling the the like the copyright site and i can use them uh but I I haven't really played music right here because that library is not all that long. So I was kind of curious, like, how do you guys like the music? Is it a raid? Like, have, like having no music during the gameplay, is it a raid? Do you miss it? I remember back in the day, I used to play a lot of music. But going back to these old faults, one thing that I'm also seeing is that, man, you know, I've, uh, I've also been kind of... It's also kind of weird in the sense that it's... Uh, something that's kind of loud or distracting. I used to have, like, this really, like, funky music playing. Um... Like DJ quads, that sort of stuff. I really enjoyed that back in the day. But I think it's nice to start out with, with the energy, but to have that through the entire stream, I'm not quite sure anymore. And also, like, I'm not quite sure about music during the stream. On the one hand, I really like it to set the tone, set the mood. On the other hand, I also kind of feel it's kind of like, yeah, you know, maybe you want to listen to your own music, maybe you don't want to listen to music, so I'm quite curious. Doesn't Twitch allow you to uh, stream multiple tracks so there's no, it's, or there's a music free track for the FODs? If playing all the music was entirely legal, then you wouldn't have to mute it for the thought. If it wasn't legal, then you wouldn't also be play be able to play it live. I believe that one of the reasons that this solution works is that Twitch so far has kind of flown under the radar of the music companies because it wasn't that big compared to YouTube. So there wasn't really much of an incentive to go after it, just in the same way that, let's say that you use a song of umg or sony or whatever these companies are called if you use one of these songs and then you play that for in a video where that gets two views if these companies didn't have the copyright system they would have to go after you with their lawyers it would cost them more to have their lawyer send you in a cease and desist and get that video down than whatever like money they may make or may lose out from your video with two views so 
I think that that's the way that they looked at Twitch for the longest time. They, they, they knew this was going on, but they couldn't really be bothered. And then when Twitch got bigger enough and bigger that we had, like, Ninja go with important people and they, they you know, it, it got some reputation, then they tried to come after it. But one thing that they may have discovered is that monitoring live streams is probably really freaking hard. And monitoring videos is probably a little bit easier because you don't have to do that in real time. So I think that what we're seeing now, like that fall track, is... I believe this is pure speculation, but I believe that that is mostly part of uh, Twitch's way of saying like, hey, we can't monitor your live streams, so, you know, you can do that on your live streams, you can get away with it, which is literally what people have been doing ever since that thought track was introduced. But we can search it on your videos, and if it's on your videos, we can strike you. So that's kind of the deal that they struck with music companies. Like, hey, we're gonna search all the videos that we can. We're gonna try our very best to search everything on, the, on our on our platform. But the only thing that they could search were the videos. So that was the loop around. And I never wanted to use a loop around because it will come to it will come back to bite you. It will 100% come back to bite you because ever since 2017, when I discovered that uh, there is such a thing as copyrighted music which you can't use in your content. Um, I've always been like, I don't want to get like my content be struck down because you see with many, many big channels, big YouTubers who get all their content, one of like old like backlog be struck down or you saw it with Twitch. Like when all of a sudden people were like, oh no, I have to delete all my clips. I have to delete all my videos. I have to delete everything. There's nothing left of my channel now. And yeah, I'm kind of like, well, you should have known that. Especially if you're partnered and you're making money of this. You should have known that the way you're making money is through literally using other people's works. It's like you're in the content business you should kind of know how this stuff works like it, it's your job uh so yeah that's how i feel about it sino says so joey uses his own music that can't be claimed which i personally find extremely limiting Nassif uses an accepter tab to listen to music personally i feel faults are kind of pointless very few people look at uh, look at them i somewhat agree and it somewhat disagrees like on twitch when you look at numbers yes i fully agree that faults are completely useless because what you're seeing is that no one really watches videos on Twitch. I've uploaded my entire video catalog, my every single video and stream that I've ever made that I have saved is here on Twitch. You can find them right here on the channel. If you go to videos, you can find every single one of my videos I've made on all the channels. You can find them right here. However, no one watches them. Literally no one watches them. But I still do it because I think it's important that it's on every single platform that you may want to look at it. Um, I also upload everything that I ever made to Rumble. I upload everything that I ever made to Odyssey. I upload everything that I ever made to YouTube. So you have four platforms that I can be on. Let's say that one of the platforms decides to not be playing nice with me, or one of the platforms doesn't like you. Let's say that you don't like to watch YouTube. You can find me on different platforms. I don't want to be limited by the platform that I'm on because I have been back in the day limited by the game that I was playing. Or from right here. Um, and I don't want that to happen again. I, I don't want me to be stuck to one single place that I'm in. So that's basically the way that I that, that I look at things. So I still upload Twitch files. I'll see that no one is watching them. So in that sense, if you're just looking at like, hey, you know, will it be worth it for me to store my videos or my, my, my FODs and my live streams? It, does that make sense? Probably no. Probably no, not here on Twitch if you're just looking at them, but the people watch them. What I do know is if you go to YouTube, it does make a lot of sense. Like if I go to twitch.tv slash Michel Postma slash videos, let's say that I go here and I mute this right here because I'm streaming at this point in time. One thing that you find is that, let's close this. Um, this right here, like, like as I said, all my videos, if you just go to Fuel, every single one of the videos are out here. Bada bing, bada boom. You can watch them. You can watch them if you like them. Uh, everything is out here. The entire archive is here. It goes all the way back down. Like I have more content here on Twitch than I believe anyone else has. Unless someone else does it because all my full streams are on here. But if you go up here and you go to my past broadcast, what you see is like I got 43 views on the on the Wukong thing. Or I got 25 views on here or 41 views on, on this thing right here. So basically what you see is that on an average stream, you, I get about like, I get like people watching concurrently, which right now are about six people who are watching concurrently here on Twitch. Um, but in total, there's about like 40 people, maybe like 76, 76. Let's say there's about 50 people that watch the streams like by themselves as they're playing. But one thing that I found is, is if I go here, this right here was at the very start when I was starting out with just archiving them just for fun. You see that they're getting watched, you know, 22 times, 10 times, you know, that's that's like half of what's already been watched. But if you go to some of the more popular ones, this right here was watched by 10 times more people. Like actually 11 times more people, 550 people decided to watch this stream in its entirety or in some form of, 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 an, of its entirety 
again after I posted it. 500 views, 300 views, 250 views, 250 views. And then if you go to right here, if you go to post my one, if you go to my live section right here, just right here, as you can see, like people are watching right here. But what you see as well is, hey, you know, like some people, more people have decided to go watch this video later on. Like this right here had somewhat like 26 views or something like that when I was, when I was done with it. But now that number is climbing. And you see that with other streams as well. This one right here, Age of Empires streams always do quite well. Um, you see it with uh, like uh, half live streams here, Age of Empires as well, also 500 views. So what I found is that if I go ahead and publish these files somewhere else as well, or if I just have them as a backlog, it's not necessarily going to be a, a great few money making thing. But at the same time, it does attract new people. It does actually go out there, especially on YouTube. It is great to um, actually put you in the algorithm and, you know, get your video out. So I don't think that if you want to grow your channel, you should just post your videos. I don't think post it like, like posting your entire vlogs. I don't think it's going to get you anywhere. For me, I don't do this to get big. Literally the entire point of this is just so that I have my streams backed up because I've had so many streams on here um, on this, on this, on this Twitch channel right here, which I've never saved. And I think that's such a shame because I actually do have a video coming up on the, um, like a clip coming up right here on, on this channel right now. I'm post my stream. So that will come out like the, the tomorrow or actually today, today, today on at six o'clock, there will be a clip coming up about where I talk, uh, yesterday I talked a little bit about why I'm turning things into clips and it shows some stress, some clips of the previous streams that I didn't really save all that much, but it shows how much things have changed. Like I've gone through various different points in my career where during that point in my career, I would go ahead and uh, have a different scene behind me. I would, I would stream different things. I would talk about different things. I would different things on the side guys to be different people watching. And it's so fun to see and to go back to. So personally, number one reason why I save them is because I like to save them. But number two is saving these files. On Twitch, it doesn't do you anything, but on YouTube, it might. And then, uh, you know, you could also go to other platforms like Rumble, Though I don't necessarily believe all that much in Rumble, because for instance, let me go to here to Misha Postma. If you're gonna search me up here, Misha Postma streams right here has about 44 followers, 46 followers right here on Rumble. As compared to here, I have 54. My this channel right here on Rumble is about as big as it is on YouTube, which is wild. And if you look at these views right here, you got 21 views, 20 views, 42 views. Like this right here has got way more views than uh, than my Twitch one did. Yeah, I got 10, 34. Can I can, can I sort by most popular videos right here, please? Filters. Um, let's see, views count. What's the most popular one right here? I mean, about 42, 72, you know, like, hey, look at that. You know, this is doing quite well. But the thing with Rumble is like, I don't really know how many people actively use it. Uh, because if I go right here, uh, some of these will have comments, like one comment. Oh, I can't see the comment, but all the comments that I really get on Rumble are people trying to say like, hey, do you want to be promoted? Do you want to be promoted? So I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of this traffic is just bot traffic. But I'll throw it out here anyway, because, you know, I do have some uncles who uh, really like to watch Rumble and they don't really like to watch anything else. I know some other people don't really aren't into YouTube. Um, so, hey, you know, uh, if there's some people that I can reach, that's fine. But yeah, anyway, that's why I'm sorting, that's why I'm sorting files. That's why I'm, uh, I'm storing everything. Number one, because I like to do it. Uh, number two, because I think that even numbers wise on Twitch, it doesn't make sense. On YouTube, it can help you somewhat, but I don't think it will be the key to help you grow. For that, I do think that, you know, make, 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 make videos of them, make clips of them. This was a little, uh, little plug for my clips channel. Go watch the clips. Also go and, uh, go and support this video right here. People don't like that I shit on Warframe. <laughs> People don't like that I, that I mock Warframe. Why you don't like me? <laughs>